Can I tell you, as I close today, that's what God is looking for from you and I. God wants some believers that will be free enough to say, God, whatever you want to do, that's what I want to do. In other words, in other, it's not your will, it's not your way, but you know it's God's will, and you know it's God's way. But let me tell you what that took from Mary. It took a whole lot of faith. Can I tell you something, y'all? Because the facts said one thing, but her faith said another thing. And you know what? That's not just Mary. That's you and I as well. Have you ever been in a situation where the facts said one thing, but your faith in God said another thing? Some of y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm getting ready to go down somebody's street. Can I give you a real-life situation of a woman who had a disease? She went to the doctor, and based on what she had, the doctor looked at her case and saw how progressive her issue was and said to her that you will not make it outside of a year. In other words, the doctor said, based on our history, based on the facts, based on the scientific information, you are not going to live past a year. Can I say five years later, that woman is still up in somebody's church with her hands lifted up and her mouth open, giving God the praise. The facts said one thing. Somebody ought to help me. But her faith said another thing. Can I tell you, you can't always believe the facts. Now, I'm not denying the facts. That's what really makes it a miracle because the facts say it ain't going to happen. Some of y'all today. You went to the banker and sat down behind, before the banker at the desk, and you know you wanted that house, but your credit was all jacked up. Your credit was all messed up, and there was no way they were going to give you one red cent to get in that house. But guess what? 2014, you in the house, you got it decorated, got your tree up, and got your lights. Talk to me around the fireplace, because you can't always trust the facts. You got to always trust your faith. The facts, y'all, may be true. But can I tell you, God's truth is bigger than any fact. If you really want to impress God, can I tell you how you impress God? You don't impress God with your singing. Some of y'all can sing pretty good. But can I tell you, God ain't impressed with your singing. God is not impressed with your church attendance. Thank God you're here today. And you ought to try to make it every Sunday you can. But can I tell you, that don't impress God either. God is not even impressed with your giving. Oh, yeah, we ought to give the tithe and the offering. But can I tell you, God is not impressed with that. But is there anybody in here that really wants to impress God? Oh, let me ask again. Is there anybody in here that really wants to impress God? Anybody really want to impress your father? I've been a father for a few years now, and one of the main things my children want to do with me, they want to impress me. When they get a good grade, they want to show me. <laughs> when they've done something excellent, they want me to see it. They always want to impress their daddy. When I'm just like them, I want to impress my daddy. But let me tell you how you impress your daddy. You don't do it by your gift or your talent. You do it by your faith. The Bible says if you want to please God, you got to walk in your faith. I want to know, is there anybody in here that will dare walk in your faith? I'm going to ask one more time, are there any believers in here? I'm talking about folk that show sure enough believe God, even though the facts say one thing, but your faith says another thing. Is there anybody in here that can give a witness and that can share a testimony that if God said it, it must be true? And that's what Mary went through at that time. But then I warn you of one thing, y'all. When you really start believing God, God will start doing some strange things in your life. Some of us miss out on the miracles of God because we look at the facts and we don't walk by our faith. But when you start believing God, he will suspend rules and principles on your behalf. When you start believing God, 